Oh, hello. Um, I just received this package and it contains something that I'm really excited about. Without waiting even more, let's just start and open it. Right now, let's take a look and open this up. Okay, start from good. And here they are. All right. This looks like the packaging is all right. Here we got um some panestia. These are panestia angustifinis angustifinis. They're pretty cool roach. I'm pretty sure they're all nymphs. I'm pretty. I'm not really sure how much I received, but I'm pretty sure there should be around seven or ten ish in here. Uh, these are no perisphyros. Perisphyros uh, species. They're unknown, but. They're really small but really amazing species. Here they are. They're, they are roly poly cockroaches. They mimic um, isopods. But right here we got. Um, what are these? Let's see. I'm not sure what these are. Let's take a look. Oh, something dropped here. Oh, I think that's an ergola. Okay, it escaped in the box, but. I saw a couple of them in here. These are probably also an unidentified Ergala species. And um, yeah, these are pretty cool. I'm definitely gonna have to grab the one in the box over there. Okay, these ones over here are Epilamprinae species nymphs. You can see them over here. They're um, leaf mimic cockroaches. They mimic leaves, so you can see they actually blend in. And I'm pretty sure these are the adult Epilamprinae right over here. I hope these are the same species. And they should be. They should be so. Yeah, and over here we got hmm, what are these? I'm not really sure what they are. I, I think they're a bonus because I don't remember ordering. Wait, no, 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 these are the I'm pretty sure these are some ectobia ectobids. Oh, yeah, these are Latella and a couple of a couple other ectobia ectobioid species, which is a um, pretty good addition to have, and it's pretty sick. Now I just gotta find that lost Aragal line there. So there are a couple of escapees in here, but that's just completely fine since they're all secure. Oh, there's the little Aragala. <laughs> there he is. Alright, he's, he's adorable. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and set up their enclosures. I already got the Paris Fires enclosure ready right here. There are some, some sphagnum, some bark, and uh, pretty much what you would like to see in a Paris Fires enclosure. They like the stacked barks. So, um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and put them in. Oh hello. Looks like they they're all well. And there there is there is one crumpling into the ball. Pretty sure these are all names, but I'm not sure how big they get, so um there might be adults, I am not really sure. Let's get them in. Let's go. Is this one dead? Oh no. I'm not sure if it's she's dead or not. No no, I don't think she's dead, she's probably just um pretending to be dead but it's fine whoops Excellent. yep she's alive all right okay so for Paris virus that's done hope you enjoy the enclosure this is my old Blatella Asahi 9 enclosure which uh, my old colony actually died so I ordered a new one but apparently he also gave me some extra ectobioids ectobids um ectobids sorry so I'll probably separate them later because it's like it's pretty it's hard to separate since uh, they're really tiny and all I'm gonna go ahead. Is this it? Hold on. Uh, wait, no, no, I think this is uh, this is the Ergala. Okay. Um, uh, I think the Ectobids are in here. No, sorry, this is Nestia. Um, I think these are the Ectobids. No, they should be. All right, I'm kind of scared to open this because they're pretty fast. Um, my old stock was pretty fast, so I'm guessing they're the same here. Oh, yep, okay, I see some I think there's Scalida in there Scalida species and there's um, I forgot Hemithair Sokra Which is I'm pretty excited to have these. I'm definitely gonna separate them soon and um, yeah It's kind of hard to put this on camera since the cup is pretty tall and it's almost as tall as my tripod Wait, I need something to We're back and um, I'm gonna try to open this Okay, 
I'm kind of nervous because these guys are really quick and they can fly. Oh, this is gonna be hard. I'm, I'm actually, I'm genuinely scared. Oh, look at those. You can see the, some of the. That's kind of dark. You can see the Skalida right over there. That's they're stunning. Okay. You know, I think I should actually just do this off camera. This is really, really tricky. Um, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so I did manage to get them all in um, without any of them escaping. You can see I'm, I'm gonna get you a good shot right now. There's one of the Asahi Nai. Um, they're one of my favorite battalions. Um, um, I love keeping these guys. They 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 were really prolific, and um, I'm not really sure why they died off. Maybe it's because of the recent heat wave that we had in our country. And uh, yeah, hope these guys uh, the new stock do well and for the the electo bids. Here are some uh, nymphs and the Scalida right over there. That's uh, I I suspect Scalida latis vitata, which is a species I've kept before, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, there they are. Right, so this is the Abbey Lampadina enclosure. Let's give the, the moss a little mist. Wait. Perfect, right? Should be good to go. Um, here are the nymphs. Oh, look at these guys. Okay, you can actually see them clearly here. They look just like leaves. That's actually amazing. Wow. Put some of these leaves in for more foliage. Oh my goodness. Look at this. That's really amazing camouflage. All right, let's put some of these run banana leaves in. Oh, look at this. Nice. Nothing here. Gone. Okay. Hello, buddy. What's going on? You're in closure. Let me tear these leaves um, apart real quick. <laughs> Alright. Oh, there's a... Uh, is that an Argala? Oh. Oh yeah, there, that is an Argala. I think some the seller misplaced it in there. That's a bit awkward. <laughs> Oh no, a dead one. Well, what is that? That's a Bundoxia, I think. What? That's... Why is there a dead Bundoxia in here? Oh man, that's actually such a shame that it died. Could have kept this amazing species. Oh. Wow, that's... I'm definitely keeping that as a specimen. Okay, let's, let's take this Ergala out real quick. Anyway, let's put the rest of the Eplian Bernay in. Oops. Did not get up my arm, buddy. Oh, they jump. That's that's amazing. That's that's really cute. <laughs> I didn't know they. I didn't. I didn't know these guys jump. That that's that's amazing. All right. Let's go ahead and put these adult epilepsy in. I can tell this is probably a male and the shorter wing one. There's females because that's generally the morphology of um, different um, sexes in roaches. So, yeah. Let's put these guys in. Oh, look at those guys. These are. Absolute beauties. Okay, I think this one's ready to come out. Ooh, they're actually pretty relaxed. Look at this. Wait, don't go up my arm, please. Oh, I'm so in awe. Look at look at how much they look like leaves. All right, go in, little buddy. 
Oh, th th this that is amazing. All right. Wait. Oh, they can They climb. I did not know they climb plastic. Okay. I might need to add a barrier for this. Anyway, let's go ahead and put them. Please, please go inside. You got you got a bunch of places to explore. Oh my goodness, this male. Oh my goodness. I did not know they climbed, but that's amazing. Oops. Hold on, I gotta pause this here. Alright, let's put the others in. Okay, got a bunch of them here. Let's see. Okay, the females definitely climb this wall. Oh, these are amazing. And I'm not really sure what species of Epileamprinae this is. But, um, yeah. Okay, there's another female here. I don't want to leave out anybody. Get in. I'll take out this. Anybody else? Looks like nope. And alright, that is it for the Epileamprinae. Oh, wow. Look at these guys. Right, moving on. So I'm gonna give this moss a little mist. This one is for the Anestia. I'm pretty sure they're in this box. Let's check, check this out. Nobody here yet. Oops, sorry. Okay, I like the rotten wood because they, they are wood eaters. I used a wood and cocoa fiber based substrate. There's not just cocoa fiber, there's topsoil, peat moss, and a variety of them. Oh, look at these guys. They're beautiful. This is an adult. Let's go in, buddy. Oh, their grip is strong as well. Look at how absolutely gorgeous this is. All right, good job, buddy. They're just like hissers, you know, like winged, smaller hissers. Okay, let's find them. Okay, here's a nymph. Right here is a this is a nymph. I'm not sure how much I got, so this is the second. This guy is um hold on. This guy is third. Let's throw a bunch of this stuff in. Okay, this is a fourth. Pretty sure I ordered around 10, but um, he wasn't really f in stock, so he gave me all of his. But that's, that's, he's kind of, he was kind enough to do that. Okay, this guy's coming on my arm. This is fourth, small nymph. And I'm not really sure if there's another. Okay, five. An adult right here. I'm not sure if the shorter wing ones are the males or the females, so I'll definitely need to check them. Okay, okay, so the shorter wing ones, I think they're the males, because you can see, um, sorry, let me try to focus this. Um, let me try to get the camera to focus. Okay, as you can see here, I'm not sure if you can see it, but um, it has, oh my goodness, the camera won't focus, and the roach is going up. Okay, as you can see in here, it has um, styli, so yeah, it's a male. So I'm guessing the longer ones are females, but I'm not completely sure with that. Alright, I'm not really, I don't think there's any more in here. Um, which is a shame, but he gave me all of his, all of the things he had um, in, I mean all of the panestia he had, so appreciate him for that. Um, yeah, that's it for the Panestia. Might add a, a bit more of these leaves for foliage. Alright, that's it for the Panestia. So I have this old and unused enclosure. Temporary enclosure for the Ergala. Because there's a small amount of them in here. I'm not really sure how many there are. But, um, okay. This is the, uh, the box. Let's take them. Alright. Actually, I'm pretty sure I should just remove this piece of bark. Because, um, the... Leaf litter will provide enough foliage. Oh, these are actually Pycnocellus, not Ergala, because I saw a couple, a couple of Ergala in there. These are actually Pycnocellus. There's only a couple of Ergala in here, I'm not really sure why, but the majority of them are actually Pycnocellus. These are supposed to be Pycnocellus. Okay, so they were a bonus. Okay, 
one of my favorite genus actually, Pheno cells. I had no idea that he had them actually. Okay, this is this is great. Wow, thanks for the bonus Ergola. I guess I'm not really sure why he placed this guy in here. Um, but yeah, he's probably Pilosa, and I have a Pilosa colony, so I uh, might just put him. Alright, so let's put these guys in. I love Pigno cells because they're such enthusiastic eaters, and I'm just going to leave out a spot here for, for the feeding area, because uh, they do eat a lot. So that's pretty much it. Now I'm just going to be playing some clips of the roaches, um, so enjoy, I guess.